Hi, I'm Dr. Teresa Oswald from Knowledge is Medicine. And today I wanted to talk about cacao, specifically cacao tea. In an earlier segment, I showed a breakfast smoothie that I make where I use cacao tea as the um, base liquid. And so I wanted to talk a little bit more, a little bit more about the benefits or why you'd want to use this. So cacao is the bean that chocolate is made of and the shell or the husk can be made into a tea. It's actually a byproduct of making chocolate. But cacao has a lot of different phytonutrients or plant-based nutrients. It has more polyphenols than you find in blueberries, red wine, um, or goji berries. Uh, and it also is high in some minerals that we tend to be deficient in. Um, due to um, just dietary um, shortcomings. So it has, uh, it's a good source of magnesium, uh, iron, um, zinc, and calcium. Also, it has the uh, anti-inflammatory chemicals and it has the same antioxidant chemical that is found in green tea and helps with the health, or it's the source of the health benefits that green tea has. It also is sugar-free, fat-free, and dairy-free. So it is um, also a source of caffeine, but it's a very small amount compared to a regular cup of coffee. It may have up to 150 milligrams of caffeine, and even tea may have 100 milligrams of caffeine per cup, but, but cacao may have zero or 25 milligrams. But it does have another chemical, which is called theobromine. And I'd like to talk a little bit about the differences between that chemical and caffeine. So theobromine has kind of a gentle, slow onset effect. It does kind of wake you up and, and is a little bit stimulating to the nervous system, but it starts slowly and it lasts for a longer period of time. Uh, its effect is milder on the central nervous system or our brain and spinal cord. It hasn't been found to be addictive and people don't have withdrawal symptoms if they don't have it. And it does have a mild diuretic effect, but not as strong as coffee. So recent studies show that it may have some effect on reducing tumors, not curing cancer, but helping with any other type of cancer treatment. And these are studies done in animals, so it's not ready for human use in that regard. But it does have health-promoting effects in regards to inflammation and also in our cardiovascular effects. And it doesn't have the same side effects as caffeine. Caffeine, on the other hand, while well, most of you have probably already had caffeine, you get a jolt. It's fast acting, but it doesn't last very long, maybe two to three hours. And it does create a sense of alertness, which is one of the reasons why we use it, but it also can cause an, a sense of restlessness or irritableness, um, which isn't as much of a beneficial effect as the alertness. Uh, and it can be uh, habit forming, and it definitely can cause uh, withdrawal symptoms when you don't have it such as headache and overall feeling not so well if you've been using caffeine regularly and then stop. So that's my overview on cacao. Um, cacao can be for, found in other things like uh, cacao nibs or cacao powder, but cacao tea is a, is a very pleasant tasting tea. Uh, it tastes kind of like um, uh, a, co a combination of uh, chocolatey flavors and even like a little bit of coffee overtone. Like I say, if coffee and hot chocolate had a love child, it would be cacao tea. So give it a try. It has health benefits, very um, promoting of wellness and not a lot of side effects. So if you like cacao tea, if you've tried it, please leave a comment. If you like this content, please subscribe to the channel. I'm Dr. Teresa Oswald from Knowledge is Medicine.